Here we've got um, three ways to be able to protect a drop zone in a aerial contest and when you're marking. Uh, first one's probably the conventional one, engage and disengage. Second one is um, rolling your shoulders. And the third one is using a single arm. So any position, anywhere on the ground, you can use this, um, whether you're a defender, forward, midfielder, um, it's anyone really in a marking contest. So the best time to be able to use this, I actually see this a lot in junior football in my coaching background where we just get a lot of players who will see the ball come in, okay, and they've probably got a really good advantage side approach to the ball, and they'll just run and jump at the ball. Now the problem with that is if we use this pole here, or my opponent, okay, and I haven't engaged and then separated to take him out or put him on the back, back step um, so he can't get to that contest, if I just run straight over, he's gonna, him or her are going to follow me over, okay, and they're going to be in the contest, so you want to take them out. All right, so I could be learning, yep, I've got a good advantage side here. It's, it's looking like I'm gonna be able to launch in the ball. Again, I've seen a lot of people just run over, and before they mark it, bang, there's a defender behind them. All right, so they need to be able to go, yep, that's the spot it's going to. Where's my direct opponent? Okay, I know where they are, bang, engage, and then I'm separating to take them out of the contest, or at least put them on the back foot so they're two or three meters behind you, then you can jump into that ball. Okay, it's a really important element to your marking. It's probably um, one of the first points that you teach um, apply when they're trying to contest, contest a mark. So the second uh, tip here for protecting the drop zone in the marking or aerial contest is being able to roll your shoulders. Now what I mean by that is you've done all your work, so maybe even disengaged, engage, and that you've got, um, sorry, engage and then disengage, and you've got your opponent still on you, okay, or you just can't shake them, okay, they're a really good defender or really good opponent that you're playing on and you're in that marking situation but you've actually got the drop zone there, you just need a bit more protection, all right? So when the ball is looking like it's coming up and you've got, your, say, your opponent there, and they can still get that spoil in if you mark the ball there. So if I mark the ball straight in front of my eyes and my body, I allow for that opponent to be able to come across and punch. But let's say now I come to the side a tiny bit, the ball's still there, so it's in the same spot, that drop zone. But if I come to the side now, okay, so I'm adjusting, I'm coming to the side, I know where my opponent is, it's always important to know that. And I actually mark and I'll probably bring that left shoulder up around and protect and roll with that shoulders and bring that down there. That's gonna be really hard to spoil. You see some of the really good marks, being able to come up and over. And you could even practice that with basic, you know, kicks off the line with your warm-ups at training or even grabbing an opponent, grabbing a teammate and just practicing that ability to be able to roll with your marking, okay? Don't bring the ball back in, keep it out. Okay, just roll across wherever the drop zone is or wherever away from the opponent you are. Oh, the last one here about um, protecting the drop zone in an aerial contest is the single arm or the one, one arm mark. Now, this situation here, it's obviously not the most ideal one. It's probably the last one in the pecking order. You've done everything you could to be able to move, move your opponent out of the way and protect that drop zone, but you just can't get it. Okay, you're in a good tangle, you're in a good wrestle, and the ball's coming, 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 coming into that drop zone. You're in it, okay, but you can't quite shake your opponent. All right, the best um, way to be able to you know, give it the one last crack is to be able to try and at least use that left hand, or sorry, in this example, left hand, or your, your other hand, one, one hand or one arm, okay, to be able to try and protect every bit of last bit you can of that opponent and then be able to mark, okay, with that one arm, okay? And making sure that one, sorry, that one hand or one arm is not out like that, making sure you sort of try and get it, okay, and roll and tuck it into this. So it's like a one arm chest, sorry, one arm chest mark, okay? You see all the great players have probably done this, my tea on the TV a bit, okay? They're just being able to get that timing right, they're in a tangle, in a wrestle, okay? And just being able to block it out and take that one, one hand and mark, all right? You've got to try everything. Last situation is that you just pulling out one hand and trying for the best and hopefully be able to try to mark it.